You know what? Iceman, adult Iceman, I think finally got laid with a guy. Kudos! I'm in love with a hero. I'm in love with the one who... Hello, comic book people of the world. Let's talk about Iceman issue number seven. This was written by Cena Grace and illustrated by Robert Gill. I adore Iceman, and I'm really loving the direction that Cena Grace is going with his character. I'm about to go into some major spoilers. If you have not read this issue, I'm warning you right now. In the previous issue, Iceman was meeting up with some of his former teammates when he was on the team, the champions. They were mourning the death of one of their members, which happens to be the Black Widow. Unfortunately, Iceman and Angel made the mistake of making a movie props lady angry, and somehow very quickly she was able to create life-size sentinels to attack LA. Also during this time, Iceman was going on his first date with a man, and he also got his first kiss. The Sentinels then attacked. Luckily though, Iceman had the champions as his wingmen. And that brings us up to this point. This was a really cool issue because we get to see Iceman create giant kaiju monsters, and he controlled them like he controls his golems. These weren't full-on Sentinels, so it wasn't too difficult to defeat them. No one was injured, or at least there was no appearance that anyone was injured. Iceman was really lenient on the prop maker. In fact, he may have even helped her career out somewhat. While this was all going on, Iceman's parents realized that Bobby had been lying to them, or at least been keeping some information from them. They have no idea that there's another version of Bobby in this universe that was plucked from the past. I can't believe I never even really thought about that. That's going to be a future story in itself. Later, Iceman's able to get back to his date where they have a Netflix and chill night. It isn't stated what happened, but I'm pretty sure everyone out there knows what that means. This could turn out to be a real relationship with Bobby. Bobby doesn't live in LA, but at the end of this issue, he does give an idea that maybe that's going to be something he's going to do. He's not on any of the X-Men rosters, so if he moved over to LA, that could be a whole new slew of adventures. The full dynamics of Iceman interacting with his former teammates, I love the puns and the stupid dad jokes that he was doing. The levity is very sweet, especially when he's reminiscing about the first time he met Black Widow, which again, that was the original reason why the team got together, to show tribute to her. This series as a whole has been nothing but positive for me. I know a lot of people were worried that Iceman was going to lose a lot of his edge, or maybe some of his comedic style, but I feel like his ongoing series has really just spotlighted it even more. Just the panel alone of him coming to see the prop maker, similar to how Spider-Man did it, but he still failed at it. I mean, I love that. So obviously, I think this is a great ongoing series, and I love this issue. If you're interested in reading it, it is from Marvel Comics, so you can pretty much get it anywhere, or you can go to comicsology.com and you can download a digital copy from them. With that, thank you guys for watching me in this video. If you haven't done it yet, check out my Patreon site, check out my social media sites, check out my websites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, namaste, and I'll see you guys later. If Iceman does move over to LA, I want him to team up with Spider-Man at least once before he does that. I mean, I know these guys are supposed to be good buddies, and I want to see the jokes between the two of them, because I think it would be awesome.